Even with the physical evidence seized from Aaron's Acer computer, hard drive, and USB drive, the prosecutors needed evidence of his motives. Why was Aaron Schwartz downloading articles from JSTOR, and just what did he plan to do with them? The government claims that he was planning to publish these. Uh, we don't really know whether that was his real intention, because Aaron also had a history of doing projects where he'd analyze giant data sets of articles in order to learn interesting things about them. The best evidence for that was that when he was at Stanford, he also had downloaded the whole Westlaw legal database. In a project with Stanford law students, Swartz had downloaded the Westlaw legal database. He uncovered troubling connections between funders of legal research and favorable results. He did this amazing analysis of for-profit companies giving money to law professors who wrote law review articles which were then beneficial to like Exxon during an oil spill, right? So it was a very corrupt system of, of funding, you know, vanity research. Schwartz had never released the Westlaw documents. In theory, he could have been doing the same thing about the JSTOR database. That would have been completely okay. If he were, on the other hand, intending to create a competitive service to JSTOR, we're going to set up our own, you know, access to the Harvard Law Review and charge, you know, money for it, then, you know, okay, now it seems like criminal violation uh, because you're commercially trying to exploit this material, but it's kind of crazy to imagine that's what he was doing. So, but then there's the middle case, well, what if he was just trying to liberate it for all of the developing world? But depending on what he was doing, it creates a very different character to how the law should be thinking about it. Um, the government was prosecuting him as if this was like a commercial criminal violation, like stealing a whole bunch of credit card records, that was that kind of crime. I don't know what he was going to do with that database, but I heard from a friend of his that Aaron had told him he was going to analyze the data for evidence of corporate funding of climate change research that led to biased results. And I, I, I totally believe that. 